Hello. Welcome to our Reflections on Encouragement. We want to start with reading a little part from the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew 5, verses 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbour, and hurt your hate, should I say, your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. If you do this, you will be true children of your Father in heaven. He causes the sun to rise on good people and on evil people, and he sends rain to those who do right and to those who do wrong. If you love only the people who love you, you'll get no reward. Even the tax collectors do that. And if you are nice only to your friends, you are no better than other people. Even those who don't know God are nice to their friends. So you must be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. That's hard, isn't it? Interesting couple of things this reading brings to my mind. Firstly, tax collectors seem to be the lowest of the low, don't they? Even tax collectors do that. I've spent a great deal of time in the last two months on the telephone to the help desks of corporation tax. (laughs) I don't think they have an easy job. And they don't pocket a bonus when they collect tax. So for us now, I don't think they are the lowest of the low. The other thing that sticks out to me is be perfect. Ooh, a lot easier said than done. Do you have any enemies? No, not really. Unless... Well, there's a lot of people who make me angry. Mm-hmm. I suppose I could describe them as my enemies, <laughs> especially when I hear them carrying out legalised policies that discriminate and hurt. Yeah. Recently, a letter signed by over 1,400 church leaders was taken to the number 10 Downing Street, which expressed their horror at the policies being put in place that harm and don't care for refugees. We share their anger. We are asked to pray for the makers of this policy, our government. Boy, that's hard. When we were back in the old building, Rodri told us one morning from the priestly blessing. This is found in number six, Verses 24 to 26. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show his kindness and have mercy on you. May the Lord watch over you and give you peace. Rosary's teaching was that we should pray this and do our best to mean it when we prayed for people that make us angry or we simply don't like them because they rub us up the wrong way. We knew someone who had come into our lives shortly before Rodri's teaching. We didn't like them because they did things that harmed people that we knew. They weren't doing it on purpose because they wanted to harm them. They just didn't seem to be able to stop it. Maybe they were building up a defence that they felt they needed. So, following Rodri's teaching, we started to bless that person in our daily prayer time. Things began to change. Not only did that person change, but we did too. We saw them from a different angle. We made steps to make friends with them, not just to know them, but to be a friend to them. This is how we were encouraged to pray for someone. And the result rolled out like ripples 
from a drop stone in water. I don't think we can expect to achieve world peace, but maybe we can have an effect on people who have been elected to government and even those who govern without a mandate. Let's pray. Father, help us to recognise our need to bless people and to be prepared for the changes it makes in us too. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Tomorrow, we begin to think of the courage part of the word encouragement. Bye. Bye. For the gift of life away.